This is one of our very best casts. I really believe that this is gonna be a fun season, full of likable people. Tyson's one of my favorites this season because he's maniacal. You, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's devilish, he's got a great look. I enjoy looking at myself in the mirror and talking. He looks like trouble and he's gonna cause trouble. Deborah's interesting because she's quote unquote an older woman this season. She has a very young energy. The question is, will she get labeled with a first impression of, ah, she's the old woman, let's get rid of her. Or will people think, you know what, she's got a lot of energy, she's got a lot of vitality. Maybe we should keep her around. They're gonna have a blast watching me because I'm gonna be the life of the party. Spencer is 19 years old. You can get played when you're a kid. That's the downside of being young, is that an older person might be able to outmanipulate you. But looking at Spencer, I think he's got a pretty good head on his shoulders about how to play people and how to keep things secret and when to reveal who to align with. Sandy will be, unfortunately, off very, very early. It's not fair, but she's the oldest woman out here and she's gonna be labeled that instantly. She's country, she can swear with the best of them. She's very likable and she's gonna be angry when it happens, but it's gonna happen. JT, this kid, runs a ranch. He knows what hard work is and that's not something that a lot of people on our show do understand. I think JT's gonna get flirted with and probably do some heavy flirting himself. I've always been able to fit in with any crowd everywhere I've been. And it wouldn't surprise me to see a couple of alliances form between, you know, handsome guy and sexy girl. Very cute. I think Joe brings, on paper, big skills. Looks like a strong fit dude. He's good looking, he's charming. Hopefully he'll have a little sauce in his delivery of something that, you know, he can uh, spark up the conversation with from Texas. Don't mess with Texas. I'm a Texas boy through and through. Carolina, do not judge this book by its cover. She's small and she's cute, and I think people will think, ah, oh, pretty little girl in the red dress. I think she's really tough. She seems like she knows what time it is. She's not afraid to carry a heavy load. She's got a real reason for being out here, and nobody's gonna get rid of her early. She's too cute. Steven is gonna have a big job to integrate well because he's a little more of an intellect and if he can use those skills in the right way, I think he can do really well because he has great people skills. Taj, she's so likable. She's got a great big smile and a great big attitude and that can be really useful around camp. They'll think I'm so sweet. She does everything. She's so helpful. We can't take her off, and then I'm gonna be stabbing them in the back left and right every chance I get. Erin, I'm on the fence on. Another beautiful woman, a hairdresser. I think she's got to make a first impression. That is, I'm a worker, right away. So that would be my advice, is pick up the heaviest thing you can and start walking. Sierra is one of my favorites. She's 23, she's sassy, she did a lot of homework before she came out here. I say everything that comes to my mind. Sierra's got a bit of a chip on her shoulder, but if she can channel that energy into a positive way, I think it works. She's got a bit of an attitude, and she's gonna get singled out right off the bat. Jerry's lovable, man. Guy, you just look at him, you wanna smile. I was born for this occasion. <laughs> That's why I'm here today. And there's so much more to Jerry, though, than a big smile. I mean, this guy has been in Afghanistan. He's led troops. And he's explained to me before his philosophy, and it's not about who are my leaders. It's about who needs my help. He's the leader, and he's looking out for you all the time. Candace is unfortunately on a season in which there are a lot of likable, strong people. And she may fall victim to not being as strong. I think the heat and the bugs might get to her. Now, Candace could totally surprise me. What Candace will have to do, though, is show people that I am a warrior and not a princess. Brendan, he's a very successful businessman. Founded Bare Naked Granola, sold it, made a lot of money. So he's gonna have to overcome the burden of people figuring out he's successful and still wanting to keep him in the game. Benjamin, He's done all these adventures. He'll tell you for days all the things he's done, all the women he has. He's a conductor, he's a kayaker, he's a whatever. -er. Do I ever get tired of him? Absolutely not. Keep telling me more, I love it. I've done it all, there's never been anybody like me on this show. I wouldn't want my sister to date him, but I love him on Survivor.
undeniable beauty for Sydney. I think a lot of people will probably put her in the category as one of the most beautiful women ever on our show. People are gonna judge Sydney because typically on Survivor, if you really pay attention, the hot blonde woman fades every single time. Sydney needs to break that cycle. She needs to come out with both guns out. Shooting. Guys, I'm here to play. As I'm sitting here talking about all 16 of the people on the show this season, over and over I keep saying likable, fun, could go far. I don't usually say that. 